Hey guys, Ben here on behalf of United Yacht Sales and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm here and I'm going to do something a little different uh, today. I'm not going to do a walkthrough tour or kind of an analysis video. Rather, I'm here to discuss uh, a couple of listings that I think are currently on the market and would well be worth your time to look at. And I'm going to do so with a specific theme in mind. And yes, I've done this theme in the past, but don't worry. Uh, one day I will quit harping on it, but uh, for now, if you are looking for an owner version under $300,000, uh, you know, typically you're looking around 10 years old and no more than 40 feet uh, or 40 feet equivalent in terms of interior volume. But there are still some good boats that can you know, meet or even exceed your expectations in this range. And to add an extra layer of difficulty to this challenge, uh, none of the boats to my knowledge featured here have been in fact bare boated. So that's also a plus. And disclaimer, none of these listings belong to me. Uh, this is solely my professional opinion based on publicly listed boats. Uh, my views belong solely to myself and do not represent in any way, shape, or form uh, the views of United Yacht Sales or its subsidiaries. Um, as of filming, I do not owe the sellers anything. Again, this is just my opinion. So in no particular order, we're going to begin with a 2011 Lagoon 380 by the name of Blue Tattoo. Uh, this boat is currently in the U.S. Virgin Islands, but it'll be making its way to Fort Lauderdale soon. I suggest you get on this one sooner than later because I don't think it'll be around for a while. Um, this, I like this boat in particular because it was used as a dealer demo for about two years, so it's really a bit younger than the model year in my opinion. It's got really low engine hours of course, uh, an Iridium Go satellite phone, Rainman water maker, 450 watts of solar, a new high field aluminum dinghy, a uh, new new water pumps and new water heaters as well. So yeah, really nice. They're asking 265 on this one and I definitely would again not sleep on it. Normally I don't mention prices in my videos because of course prices are subject to change but uh, this one's a little different so apologies if you know things change over time. This video is made uh, when it's made. All right coming up second we have a 2008 Manta 42 lying in Satellite Beach Florida by the name is of Bess Mige. Uh, Manta, as you know, were only built in owner version. They're a bit more, you know, old school, more performance oriented, but they have a really, really great reputa reputation among the people that own them. So yeah, definitely interesting boats. I did a tour of one uh, a while ago. You can check that out as well uh, right here. So yeah, this boat also has really low hours. It's got brand new sails in 2020, which I also like a lot. It's got 500 watts of solar panel, uh, solar panels, dual AC units. Of course, it also has a washer and dryer, which was of course standard on all Manta catamarans. Uh, and it even has a, yes, also does have a, a light, light air sail, runs on a, a sock system as well. So another interesting boat, be sure to check it, check it out as well. I'll have all of the listing info in the description. And last but not least is a 2012 Island Spirit 401 Fortuna by the name of Entheos, which is Greek for divine inspiration. Uh, interesting name lying in the U.S. Virgin Islands and is currently asking $230. They just dropped the price from $240. So, yeah, and I know what you're thinking. Wait, an Island Spirit catamaran from 2012. How does that make sense? Well, the story I was told behind this boat is that it was, you know, the hull was built in 2008 and then it was just kind of forgotten about when the factory shut down and someone bought it and had Maverick Yachts of South Africa uh, finish out the hull. So it's a 2012. Now I'm not, you know, like a huge fan of the Maverick 440. I think it's a really, it's kind of a weird boat. It's not my favorite, but I will be damned if they do not know how to make really nice interiors. And you look at the photos on this boat, it definitely shows. Uh, since this boat has mostly been doing crew charter since it made its way to the Caribbean, uh, the engine hours on it are gonna be a little higher than the other boats on this list, but I still think they're pretty reasonable. The boat comes with a custom hard top, 30, uh, 30 liter an hour water maker, AC, and about 500 watts of solar. Uh, one caveat, if you aren't a fan of lower bridge deck clearances, I'd maybe steer clear from this one, but other than that, potentially good boat worth looking into. I believe the listing broker can provide a mini survey on this boat as well, which is, which is useful when dealing with overseas yachts as well. All right, thanks for watching. That's gonna wrap it up for this segment. As Hold it! All right, I know, I know I'm breaking my rules here. It kind of messes up the theme, but I really had to include this one just because it literally came on the market while I was compiling this list and it was just too good to ignore. So the fourth and final boat on this list of three boats is Daydream Believer. She's a 2015 Fontaine Peugeot Mahé 36 Evolution based out of Key West. 
But uh, being a 2015, of course, she's a very late model. This was right before Peugeot uh, ended production on the poor little Mahay 36. But, you know, they're neat little boats. I like them, and I think you'll like them as well. Uh, this one is the three cabin, one head layout. It doesn't have ensuite heads. Um, it does come in a 2-2 as well, but, you know, I'm just going to say this is an owner version anyway because uh, I don't care. This boat comes in at $299, which is inching ever so close to the limit of our budget here. And before you get sick or shock, yes, I know, you can buy Mahay, older Mahay 36s for half or even a third of that if you go to some really out-of-the-way locations. But, uh, you know, I think none of those boats have, of course, led as charmed an existence as this one. She's lightly equipped, but also seems to be pretty lightly used uh, based on the listing description. Definitely don't miss out on that one either. All right, uh, no more surprises. That's that's gonna wrap it up for real, I swear. Um, so yeah, something a little different today. And uh, tell me what you think of this segment, if you liked it, if you disliked it, wanna see more of it. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. And if you like the channel, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a bunch. And I hope I'll catch you on the next one. All right, peace.